And we're back. Welcome back to Anti-Chef Cooks the World. I'm Jamie and I am not a chef, but I'm learning how to cook and I'm teaching myself to make foods that I've never made before. So this series, I've challenged myself to cook a dish from every single country in alphabetical order. So uh, we're just getting started. Today we're making food from Algeria. It's A. Algeria is the biggest country in Africa by size, and the southern part of it is covered by the Sahara Desert, so the majority of people live in the northern part, closer to the Mediterranean Sea. So it's like a diet between a Mediterranean diet and North African diet. Food like couscous, which is the national dish, and, okay, stop doing that. Shakshuka and pastilla, which are two things that I only know what they are because I made them on the show way back when. Look at me, look at that guy, that guy, what a dork. Tagine, which I'm gonna save for another country in Africa. So today I'm gonna make Algerian crepes. Majuba, which is like this flaky flatbread with a filling that's like tomato based with onions and all that kind of good stuff. Let's make it. I'm gonna start with the filling first. It's like a pantry meal. It's like whatever you have in the kitchen, you can kind of throw in there. Three onions, like on the smaller, medium side. Roughly chopped. Actually, I want these onions finely chopped. My mistake. Two jalapeno peppers, stemmed and seeded. So it says Holland pepper, which I couldn't find. And then it said chili pepper, which I couldn't find. That's the story of why I'm using jalapeno peppers. Finely minced into little pieces. Two carrots, peeled. Is this a peeler? I don't even know. Seems to be peeling. Grate them up into little itty bitty pieces. Yeah, that will work, right? Eh, this one. Yeah, that's better. Finely grated. Pan of whole peeled tomatoes. And, oh, crush them with your hands. Everything is chopped up and smushed and there's no meat in this filling today. No meat. We're going over the stove. Medium high heat. Pan of choice, I'm using a non-stick. Couple tablespoons of olive oil. Till that's glistening. In go the onions. Woo! Jalapeno peppers, carrots, ladybug spatula, mix it together. These gotta be soft and caramelized. It's gonna take around 20 minutes, apparently. Onions are looking translucent. Add around two tablespoons tomato paste. Cook it for three-ish minutes until it's caramelized. Add those crushed tomatoes. Add some salt, pepper. Okay, right, I'm gonna turn on the heat. Stirring until mixture is thick and slightly dry. 45 minutes, 45 minutes. Moving on to the dough for the, the crepe. Um, I'm using Oop, semolina flour, which is the first time I've ever used it. Semolina is actually what uh, couscous is made out of. Also, uh, you can make pasta out of it. Also, you can make Algerian crepes with it. Okay, with a bowl. One and a half cups of semolina flour. Is 180 grams. So that in grams, like a tablespoon of salt. Mix it, mix it, mix it together. Add water as much as needed. Mm, never helpful. I'm just gonna start adding water. And then I gotta start mixing together with my hands. Just enough water so that it started to stick together, which is great. Now I can knead it into my dough ball. Little too much water, so I'm gonna add a little more of this flour just to even it all out. Knead this until it's elastic. It should take around six to eight minutes. Taking too long, just put it on the table. Use two hands and get to work. It's getting there. Back into the bowl, add about a tablespoon of olive oil and start kneading that into this dough. Okay, I like doing it this way. This is a nice smooth dough ball into the bowl. Yeah, let that hang out for half an hour. After 45 minutes, this really thickened up. Take it off the heat. Hey, divide it into six. Three, four, five, six. Make them into a ball shape. Oh, grease up your surface. I'm gonna stick with olive oil. And with my palm, just, what am I doing? Stretch the edges and make it as thin as possible. 
dill has to be well kneaded and rested so it does not tear much. Shit. It tore. I'm gonna use my wine bottle rolling pin instead of my hands. This seems to do the job much better. Whoop, it was a Chianti, kinda like that. Put that off to the side. Next up, start it off with your hand, circle, shapish, and then I'm gonna get the rolling pin. We're here. Two tablespoons of the filling in center. Okay. Fold the two opposite ends to meet in the center. Parcel package, yes. Fold, just like you're wrapping a Christmas gift. These are the nice ones, so take your time. First side, second side, and up, give it a kiss. Medium heat. Non-stick pan, a little bit more olive oil. A little more, a little more. Yep, the ugliest one's up first. Here we go. Until the first side's golden brown, and then I flip it. Get an even uglier one and put it on the pan next to it. There's nothing on the line right now. These are just my testers. Okay, that's done. Ooh. I think you're done too. Little bit more oil. Easy. This one is my golden goose. Oh my God, I'm gonna make this every day. Hot damn, is that good? Easy to make, I like everything about it. I like that there's no meat in there. It's given me a serious roadie vibes. Everything about it, I love it. Mmm, oh. That wraps up Algeria. We're going to Andorra next. So um, if you see a country up on the list right now and you have a recommendation of a food that you love from there or you're from there and you wanna share something, let me know down below in the comments what it is because that's gonna help me decide what I'm gonna make next. That's it, I'll see you soon, bye.